Hey guys, Elpocker77 here and welcome back to the second of my Team of the Season Silver Player Reviews. So today I thought I may as well review the Team of the Season Wook as he looks absolutely amazing. Looks like a really nice card. So he cost me, I think it was about 110-120k which isn't too bad considering how good he looks. This is the team I've been using him in. It's a 4-1-2-1-2, four, 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 two, the second version of that with the sentiments instead. It's actually a really nice squad. Now throughout the games I've played with him, I've varied it up a bit. Tried him sometimes at left striker, sometimes at right striker to see what both his finesse shots are like and also his power shots across the goal. As usual we'll take a look at his stats and in terms of card stats he's got 79 pace, 75 shooting, 71 dribbling, 84 heading as well as also 66 defence and 63 pa pa passing I mean on the card. So really his card is an all round very very good card. You can play him anywhere really from centre attacking mid probably all the way to striker. You could probably even try him, it would be quite funny as a centre back. So in terms of his in game stats he is 6 foot 5, he is right footed with medium medium work rates and 3 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot and then in terms of of his best in-game stats. I'll read out a couple of them there. There's his physical attributes with the 99 strength. That's probably one of his most standout stats. Also 79 sprint speed, 81 acceleration. His mental stats aren't too bad with 75 attacking positioning. And then his skill attributes, he's got 82 finishing, 88 heading accuracy, 87 penalties and 89 shot power. So we can move on to the gameplay now and have a look at how he performed in game and he was really really fun, I really enjoyed using him, it's probably one of my favourite informs that I've, I've used recently and at the moment I've used quite a few of the team of the season players and I have to say he's probably my favourite team of the season player at the moment as well. He is fairly expensive or was fairly expensive when I bought him for about 120k, that's not too bad really when you look at his stats, in terms of the card stats as I mentioned before, 79 pace, his pace is much better than it used to be or much better than it is on the non-inform, non-inform isn't too bad I think around 75 something like that around 75 pace but in game this this team the season card has got 79 sprint speed I think it is and 81 acceleration in game so he's actually really fast he's not slow like you would think most of the time when I have gone past defenders and I have gone through on goal defenders haven't really been able to catch him up and if they do catch him up they can't out muscle him because as as you've probably seen he is ridiculously strong with the 99 strength in game and that is really noticeable you sometimes get these really strong players or with players of really good strength in game that aren't actually that strong and still get muscle off the ball but Kim Shin Wook he was so so fun to use and it was really funny at times because three players would be chasing him and sometimes I'm not even joking he would just knock over all three of the players and carry on running he was so good the 99 strength was absolutely amazing so as I mentioned feels much faster non inform ridiculous strength he wins pretty much every single header mainly because of his height, his jumping is fairly poor so he relies on the fact that he's 6 foot 5 and also has 84 heading as well, that helps a lot. He's also got an excellent finesse shot in terms of his shooting, his finesse shots are really really nice, mainly using him at the left striker, his finesse shots are really good there. But if you want to try him on the right striker instead, which I actually quite enjoyed using him at right striker, and if you use him there, he's got really, really powerful shots. He's got a really nice long shot as well. His power shots were a bit inconsistent at times, sometimes because his shots are actually way too powerful. Sometimes hit it way too powerfully, go straight over the bar, perfect angle but with a bit less power it will go straight into the sort of corner. As I mentioned long shots that are a bit inconsistent too, some games will be amazing and everyone will go on target or look like it's going to go in and then some games it will just drag it wide, it'll have no curve on it at all and that's, that's the only downside really to his shooting. Also his weak foot feels miles better than 3 star, he does have 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves, 3 star skill moves are ok and it helps considering his dribbling is fairly poor but the 3 star weak foot as I mentioned is really really good, I felt much more like 4 or 5 star weak foot, probably scored as many goals with his left foot as I did score with his right and it felt just as powerful to be honest. So as you can probably tell he's got lots and lots of positives, there's lots of positives about Kim Shin Wook but in terms of the negatives, there are a couple of negatives, I always do like to take a few negatives for each player and his medium medium work rates make him drop back a bit too much, they're not my ideal or my preferred work rates for striker, I prefer something at like high medium or high low, medium low, something like that. Medium medium means he drops back a bit too much for my liking, it's okay if you want want to let him drop back and then take some more long shots but when you counter attack he's not always up there which I do wish he was up there a little more. So to recap everything, here are my overall thoughts. In terms of positives, he wins nearly every single header because of his height. He's ridiculously strong, obviously, with the 99 strength, and it does actually feel like the 99 strength in game. He feels much faster than the non inform, and that is obvious really because of the 79 sprint speed. He's got an excellent finesse shot, and his finishing is also great. Something I didn't mention earlier about his finishing is that he chips the ball a lot of the time when you run through on goal, and it nearly always goes in. It's really, really useful. 
His weak foot also feels miles better than three star, as I mentioned, scored a lot of goals with his left foot, and he also has great long shots, but they are somewhat inconsistent. And then a couple of negatives, his shots are almost too powerful sometimes, sometimes go over the bar just because of the power. He manages to get injured every single game, or something I didn't mention, not really to do with his strength, he just just noticed it he did sometimes get injured like three maybe even four times a game it was really really weird but he did get injured pretty much every game I used him in his dribbling is also fairly poor it's about 75 in game but it did feel quite bad and then he also has medium medium work rates which aren't ideal and then on to a final rating, probably going to have to give him a 9 out of 10, he was really really fun to play with, probably one of my favourite strikers I've used in the game this year, definitely in my top 5. So yeah, if you like the look of him, definitely go and try him out. So if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give this a like and let me know which other players you want me to review. So thanks for watching guys, cheers.